Have you ever thought about starting your own podcast? When we were trying to get this podcast off the ground, we had so many questions. How do we record an episode? Where do we find background music? How do we get our show on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and all the other places that people like to listen? And where do we find advertisers? The answer to every one of these questions is really simple. Anchor. Anchor is a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, distributing, and monetizing your podcast. And best of all, it's 100% free and 100% ridiculously easy to use. Anchor makes it simple to get up and running. You can upload and schedule your podcast ahead of time. It publishes to all the major podcast platforms. You can easily check your stats. I could go on and on, but instead, why don't you go and get started? Go to anchor.fm slash start to join the e-commerce minute and the diverse community of podcasters already using Anchor. That's anchor.fm slash start. We can't wait to hear your podcast. It's the e-commerce minute, your daily dose of e-commerce tech and retail news with your hosts, Bart Moraz and John Suter. The e-commerce minute is a production of Sumo Heavy, a digital commerce consulting firm in Brooklyn, New York and Philadelphia. Find us on the web at sumoheavy.com. It's e-commerce minute episode 344. In today's episode, Shopify adds Venmo payments. Shopify has announced the addition of Venmo as a payment option at checkout for its 600,000 merchant clients. Venmo is the mobile digital wallet that lets users split payments with other friends on Venmo or pay friends via the app. Venmo users can choose to share what they're buying with the network, which can then view, comment, and like the purchases in their feed, which I always thought was weird. U.S.-based Shopify stores will now see Venmo as a payment option on all checkouts using PayPal checkout. Venmo will appear as a payment option to customers, but merchant reports will list the transactions as PayPal payments. PayPal acquired Venmo via its purchase of Braintree in 2013 for $800 million. Shopify says that over 67% of the transactions come from mobile, so adding the Venmo option is a smart move for the platform. Shopify stated in their announcement, by accepting Venmo directly in your online store, users can complete their purchase in just a few clicks. Giving customers a familiar way to pay can lessen abandoned e-commerce carts and increase your sales for business, end quote. Mobile payments are steadily growing with providers like Zelle rising in adoption while Amazon and Apple Pay look to dominate the space. And Venmo continues to grow with PayPal's third quarter earnings report showing that Venmo's transaction volume increased 78% to $17 billion. The Venmo option arrives just in time for the holiday shopping season. Salesforce predicts that 46% of all orders this holiday season will happen on mobile Venmo. Uh, that's what you hope, right? That's what you hope. That they happen over the, you know, on the mobile. So this is pretty interesting in that Venmo is not just like your normal payment gateway, but um, the young, the youngins, the millenniums, as I like to say, love their Venmo. So this is great for them. They do. It was started in good old Philly. Was it? Yeah, it was. Do you have a story? Uh, Do you have a story? Do you have an anecdote? Do you have a... Yeah, a little team outside, inside of uh, Ticket Leap, actually. Those guys were coming out. They got... They put some stuff together and the event will happen. And when was that? That was at least, how old is Sumo? Eight and a half, at least nine years ago. I didn't know that. So it was an internal project within Ticket Leap or was it some kind uh, of... Growth? I think it's a team that worked for Ticket Leap at one point and then they uh, kind of started that. Yeah. There were Ticket Leap contractors that split off and started that? I, I think they worked there full time and I think they split off at some point, but they were also incubated. I don't remember exactly what the story there was, but it was in the same sort of community that we've been in. That's pretty interesting. So Venmo was then eventually acquired by Braintree and then Braintree was acquired by PayPal. If you want to look at the family tree there. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Cool. So it's great for retailers to embrace Venmo because as we said, the millenniums love their Venmo. Abercrombie & Fitch already has the Venmo option in their payment app. I don't see a broad adoption just yet, but give it time. Uh, You know, we see Venmo is a natural fit for some of these merchants. And I I saw a report that Big Commerce, they're in the midst of offering Venmo as a payment option. So why not make it easier for the customer, especially those deep pocketed millenniums? (laughs) Yeah, I think uh, Apple and Google were looking into, you know, trying to hit up that market because Venmo just took over basically that quick payment options, right? And it's pretty crazy. And I'm wondering why there was such a quick adoption versus, say, a PayPal, who, which kind of works the same. Do you think it's the social component that put Venmo over the top with the younger base? No, I think people still think that pay- PayPal was always done for you know eBay or eBay, those kind right. of payments, but was never an easy shot. Right, right. So in 2017, there were already 15 million Venmo users, which is pretty good. Uh, and there are already, and there were already two million merchants accepting Venmo through PayPal. So that was 2017. So we can look to that number to probably double 
Uh, so great for Shopify, great for the Shopify merchants. Look for Venmo. If you're a Shopify merchant, you can add that to your checkout. Bart, do you have anything else? No, just go shopping more. <laughs> Shop more. All right, that's e-commerce minute. Full show notes are at e-commerce minute.co. We'll see you on the internet tomorrow. That's it for today's show. If you like the show, do us a favor and subscribe or leave us a review on iTunes. And don't forget, you can now listen to the e-commerce minute on your Amazon device. Just add e-commerce minute to your flash briefing. And finally, if you have a comment or suggestion or just want to say hi, find us on social media at Sumo Heavy.